Hello world, it's Magenta with your Hackaday Prize update. Last time we challenged you to come up with innovative ways for humans to interface with machines and machines to interface with humans. Let's see what you guys came up with. First up, mind reading. This dude is hacking a fitness tracker to read brain waves and detect brain states. So basically what this does is we have this um this ECG chip, the ECG front end, uh, and we have it on this super cheap, super compact uh, little fitness tracker. Uh, it gives us the ability to do all kinds of nifty little um, bioimpedance sensing projects. When this gamer was dissatisfied with the available head tracking solutions, he took matters into his own hands. Bonsoir. By designing an Arduino-based rechargeable Bluetooth head tracking device capable of 360 capture, perfect for long nights of sim gaming. Oh, yeah. Moving on from headgear, let's check out this mini Vive controller. This team of engineers had faced challenges in human-computer interactions in several fields, such as neurosciences and robotics, just to name a few, and all agreed that a miniature 3D positioning challenge was worth solving. Next up, we're really excited to share with you some of these assistive technologies, starting with K-Ability. KeyTouch aims to solve some of the more general problems of control and neuromuscular coordination at a more accessible price. Using a Raspberry Pi 3, Sight is a pair of smart glasses intended to assist the blind through image analysis combined with voice assistance. I see a key. Next up, the musical instrument challenge. Build a module, interface, or full instrument that evolves or goes far beyond modern music instrumentation. <laughs> <laughs>